Lake's record high water levels in Lake Michigan have damaged plenty of structures along the lake shore. Engineers say it's one of the reasons the South Breakwater Pier near Muskegon's Pier Marquette Park is in such bad shape. The pier is now closed to the public and this morning News 8's Justin Kolar is there live after meeting with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Lindsay and Teresa, good morning. What was once a fun, picturesque tourist destination is now transformed into a safety concern. Just beyond this caution fence behind me, if you were walking, you'd be greeted by several large holes that have opened up in the pier. If you happen to fall in one of those, you could be badly, dam badly injured or worse. And those holes that have opened up all over the place have transformed this pier into a brittle harmonica of sorts. Take a listen. If you listen closely, you can hear the living breath of Muskegon's South Breakwater Pier. Each breath takes the tired old pier one step closer to its death. It's supposed to be a solid structure and, and uh, water is not supposed to be able to move in and out of the structure and that's what's causing the damages. Collapses are common out here. The holes from the constant battering of wind and waves have made these once solid structures now porous caverns. That's why the entrance to the pier was blocked Monday morning. We felt it was in the best interest of the public to close the structure off, unfortunately, um, just so that no one gets hurt. Chris Schropp, chief of construction with the Army Corps of Engineers, says the pier's reconstruction has been years in the making. A few years back in 2015, 2016, we started seeing um, waves damaging the South Breakwater in Muskegon. And uh, we were able to get some funds together to do some temporary repairs. Those repairs helped keep heavily damaged areas safe for the time being safe enough to stabilize the pier, both for traffic from boats and from feet. Not really sure how stable it is or where the next piece is going to fall. And if someone were to walk out there uh, and have it collapse underneath them, they could get uh, harmed. While patching the pier, engineers made a request to Congress for a complete repair. That was in about 2017 that we asked for those funds, and we were able to get them um, in 2019 to do the work. $1.6 million will help breathe new life into the old pier. We got our money's worth out of it for the you know 70 years or whatever it is that's been out there. And ensure it's out here for many years to come. Lindsay and Teresa, in the coming weeks, you'll see large barges bringing in six to eight ton boulders, and they'll place those on either side of the pier, and they'll come back next spring as soon as the ice thaws to complete the project. They say it should be finished around next June. Reporting live in Muskegon this morning, Justin Kolar, News 8.